What's up, y'all? We live, baby. What's good, y'all? Cold X Trez. Crazy Tunes. Mr. Hack. DMG FX Zay Amber What's up y'all how y'all doing We finna jump right into this thing I hope everybody had a, a Having a good Sunday How we finna I'm gonna draw this uh I got this dope idea for this Malcolm Malcolm X piece I wanna do. Love y'all. We about to jump into it. I'm gonna show y'all the reference I'm using. I'm using this picture right here. And what I do is I save a lot of pictures to my computer, you know what I'm saying? Then I go through and then I find different poses for different things i'm gonna tell you where to find some dope pictures to draw to practice with all you gotta do man is go to pinterest if you ain't got you no pinterest account i advise you to make you a pinterest account man that's where you can find the best inspiration like for for pictures to draw get on pinterest and search i be searching up model figures i need i want to start drawing more females on my channel so y'all finna see a lot of that and yeah man just get on pinterest and you type in whatever and you can find a whole like this right here i'm gonna draw that later so i'm gonna go ahead and say that to the catalog of ideas i'm gonna say that to the computer I'm trying to tell y'all, man, get on Pinterest. I said help. Forgot to hop. Let me see, man. Probably need to do another one, a little peep. See, that's clean. You, I'm telling y'all, man, get on Pinterest. And find you some pictures to draw and just make you a folder on your desktop. Just say idea folder. So that's that's a little tip tip for the day, man. If y'all are wondering where you can find some dope pictures to draw. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna sketch out this picture of Malcolm Mix, but we're gonna add my own. I wanna make it like a cartoon style. I don't wanna make it too real. I just wanna make it very creative. Oh, we got Baton Rouge in the house. Mike, that's what's up, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in with your boy. We finna turn up. I want to do it kind of like a anime style. Because that's my favorite style of art. But we going to... Dang, if I can get this... Make this brush a little bigger. I got to move this. I got to move this picture to this other stream so I can see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay out a good sketch for some reason. I don't even feel right if I don't start out with the pink, with the pink outline. Let's go to us a little pencil. Find us a good, looking for a good little pencil to start with. All right, it's kind of too big. Okay, there we go. That got a nice little fade to it. We're gonna have Michael Max, and I like that picture of him looking out the window with the gun. So I'm gonna kind of play off that idea as well, and I want to do mines. I want to do my
my own piece of that. But we gonna kind of we gonna make it our own. So this is gonna be dope though. Another thing about drawing too, y'all, you really, you really gotta have confidence. You know what I'm saying? Like going into it, cause every picture you start out. I at least myself, I I be thinking, bro, this ain't gonna look shit like what I'm trying to make it look like. But once you start getting confident, you be like, man, I'm gonna make this look like what I want it to look like. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta just keep at that jump. Cause just like I told y'all, man, when I be drawing, I just had that mindset like I won't be denied. I'm gonna make this. I'm going to make this picture turn out how I want it to turn out. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. I'm going to do a little dope version. Make it up to date, man. Okay. Don't focus. When, you, when you're doing sketches, don't focus on trying to make it perfect. Cause I know a lot of people when they sketch, you, they really be saying they sketching, but they really be trying to draw. Like they be going just like this. But that ain't no sketch. A sketch is a blueprint. You trying to, you really trying to rush a sketch to see how everything gonna look. You know what I'm saying? You trying to get the shape. You don't even want to take your time because you just wanna, you wanna rush through it and kind of be like, okay, is that looking right? Do I need to change this? This this the sketch supposed to be where you don't mind erasing. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be comfortable with erasing. Like if you're drawing, you ain't gonna be comfortable with erasing because you like, man, I just took my time drawing this. But a sketch, you ain't you ain't committed to it. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't committing to no line, it's easy to get rid of it. So keep that in mind. When you sketch, just go through it like man. I ain't even finna get attached just in case I gotta erase all this. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get it just how we want it on the sketch. Let's see. And a lot of things, a lot of times when I'm drawing, I use my hand as a reference. If I can't find a picture that's doing the hand motion I want it to do, I get like a mirror and I sit it like behind the disc. And I look through that mirror and I try to do somewhat of the pose I was trying to make my picture do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's a lot of little tips and tricks that you can just practice while you drawing. I'm finna get back. Let's make this smaller and move this over. Let's see. We're going to do our little cartoon version of them. I want to, uh, find, I want to find that picture where he was looking out the window now with the gun. Okay, where is it? I know I saved it. Okay. Michael had a banana clip. All right, we finna exactly how we gonna do ours. So let me move that picture over to this other monitor so I can use that as a reference. A reference is really like when you trying to create your own piece out of references, you really use the reference to piece together your idea. You don't have to copy exactly what you see you just kind of use different reference for inspiration for your new creation you know what i'm saying so i want to have him holding the gun right here he's gonna have his um, trigger finger Wait, we 
probably gonna have to move it because the clip will be covering his face. So I just have it with the. We ain't gonna even have the clip in it. We're gonna have him holding the clip with the other hand. And as you see, like I'm improvising as I draw it. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking of. That's the good thing about being an artist, man, because you get to. You get to draw whatever you think. You know what I'm saying? And that's if you want to be a super dope artist, try to practice that. Cause we all got crazy ideas that we think of twenty four seven. We just downplaying. We were like, man, I'm t I'm tweaking. But no, nah, man, try to bring your ideas to life. The craziest thing you can think of, try to put that on paper. Because that's what's gonna be an eye catcher to somebody. The crazy things you was thinking, but you just brought it to life on a picture. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have him like with this hand, and I'm looking at my hand because I, I know I can't go find no picture that'll fit it perfect. He gonna be kind of holding the clip, like so. Put that finger right there. Bend this hand down. Put my other finger right there. Put my little pinky finger. Put my thumb. Right, like a thumb. You just gotta use all the resources you have, man. Let's see, we're gonna have them. Holding the clip Have his shoulder Look like he finna put it in So it gotta be outward like that And this one gotta come I really think if you an artist man Basically you like a You like an architecture I can't even say it right Well basically You a builder man You a mechanic you f you you putting something together, you know what I'm saying? You fixing something. Most people be tripping. They be like, "Man, it's you. You a god, basically." If you can, but nah. This being an artist, I feel like if you a real artist, that should make you believe more into God. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you don't believe in no religion, if you a artist, man, you should you should believe. And God, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we create on paper. You know what I'm saying? We create on paper, but he created all this. He He created 3D. Like, his art come to life. You know what I'm saying? But we just, our art just stay still on this paper. So, man, it's crazy. But, yeah, man. All I do is I run with an idea. I try it out. If it if it go, I keep it. But if I don't like it when I'm finished, I just delete it. You know what I'm saying? Because all you want to do as an artist, you want to try to, you're still working. You will never become a, the best artist in the world or a, a artist that just mastered everything, a perfect artist. Cause there's no such thing as anybody being perfect but see if there, if nobody can reach perfect that means there's always room for improvement so you should be glad you can never reach perfect because if you could reach perfect after you reach that you will have nothing else to do so by us not being able to be perfect we have no limitations to what we can achieve and what levels we can reach and records always can be broken and it's always somebody that can be better than the best so you got to look at things deeper than what you what you hear it as you know what i'm saying you probably you probably hear that man can't nobody be perfect so shoot that's messed up no nah, that's a, that's perfect nobody being able to be perfect is perfect so that's a forever humble you you know what I'm saying? 
You should forever be humble since you can never reach perfect. And I know that. So. Yeah, they just aren't looking. Looking player. But it's. They're kind of looking too plain. So we're going to push them back, son. We're going to try to. We're going to try to take the creation to the next level, man. We got to think of something crazy. Because the art is about. Art is really. To me, it's a metaphor. You want people you want people to look at your work and think of the meaning to your work. That's when you know you made a crazy piece when somebody can look at your work and be like, "Okay, what was that artist thinking?" Or they can come up with their own meanings to your piece. So, let's see what we going to do. What we gonna do? We gotta, we gotta do something crazy for Malcolm, man. I don't know. I probably should have one. Looking down on it like a city or something. But that'll be too predictable, won't it? Man, I'm glad y'all tuned in with your boy today. XDs. What's good with you? Oh, somebody got the Michael Max as their profile. That's fine. Let's see what we gonna do, man. I think I'ma just You know what? I'm going to have the clip instead of. I'm going to have X's falling, not the clip instead of shells. Like it's just like it's like it's leaking out since I'm just a big fan of the drip for some reason. Uh, he gonna be pulling out an X. So. We're gonna have him pulling out this little X right here. So next time y'all join, man, what you want to do is just just let your mind, free your mind. Just try to draw whatever you think about, but don't think too hard on it. That's what I really should have did. I should have just kept drawing, and I gave myself a chance to really plan or premeditate anything. Just draw, and just really draw a feeling. That's when you know you found, you really found your comfort zone with drawing when you can just go off a of feeling. You know what I'm saying? And so when you look at it later, you can try to be like, dang, I wonder what I was on or what I was thinking when I was drawing that. When you just go off emotion. The best things in the world is, is stuff people do off emotion, off feeling. Like mu even the music we listen to. Like we, we know when somebody putting their heart and soul into something so that's that's another little tip y'all can think about when you just create you just have a, a lot of little X's
Perdoe. Ah. Uh, what an, another dope idea for Malcolm X to be. I should have made him as X Men. That would have been. That'd be crazy. I might do another one. Three D X is boom boom. Doing some some at the same time. What else can we add? Do some little more X's. Boy Malcolm, we'll put the city in the in the background. Sort of how that look. And this is all, all this is just a sketch, man. So trial and error. If I see something I can change, I ain't even took my time to be attached to it. So it'll be easy to just get rid of it. So if I see something, step back, I look at it, and I be like, nah, that ain't going to look right. I'm going to just go back and change it. But unfortunately, I'm kind of digging how everything going. Let's see, get out this eraser tool. How you like Clip Studio versus Adobe? Man, I love Clip Studio now. It's crazy, man. I feel like, I don't know. You know what I should do? I should start sketching more in Clip. And sometimes when I want that Adobe look, I just take my sketch over and do my line work in Adobe. But really, both of them are real good programs. You can do more. You can do more in uh, Clip Studio Paint, though. I'm just being real. Because you can kind of like, I can shade this and make it look real. Or I can shade it, like, make it look like it's Victor Art. It's, it got a very, it's a very versatile program. And inside Adobe Illustrator, it, it's like you only can do one style inside that program. That's the only thing. It's a good program, but it's only catering to Victor Art. But this is it's very versatile. Let's see, we're going to make all this. Shadows. Okay. Thank you. Should I put a? Nah, I was gonna put a space helmet on it, but I ain't gonna do all that. Malcolm X. What else can we do? What else can we do? Ah, oh, yeah. Let's give him a halo, man. We're gonna get that man a halo. We're gonna get Malcolm X a halo. I should have thrown some wings, but just, I already put the city there. Let me see how the wings will look if I got them like spread open though. Like 
Are they up? Like he, he already. Like they was in a flapping motion. You know what I'm saying? And then make that wing come on around like it's, it's trying to cover cover some of the X's. Like wing. Yeah, we're gonna do that. That's gonna be player. I'm gonna tell y'all what's gonna set y'all apart from every artist in the world. It's not it's not your skill. It's not like how much somebody can draw better than you or none of that. It's being original. That's what's going to set you apart. Cuz it it might be somebody that can't draw as good as you or it might be somebody that can draw 10 times better than you. But one thing they'll never be able to do is draw the ideas you have in your mind. So, your ideas can never be thought of by anybody but you. Your ideas are original. They only for you. They meant for you. God made everybody original. So, if you be true to yourself and original, man, you can be a great artist. And you ain't even got to be the most realistic drawing. Or you ain't even got to be the most, like... Your style, it ain't even, you can feel like, I. you probably can feel like about yourself, like, man, I cannot get my style to this next level I want to reach. But maybe it's not your style that's going to that's gonna pull people. Maybe it's your, your ideas. You know what I'm saying? Because you can look at, you'll look at uh, Basquiat work and you'll assume like, dang, well, there's a lot of people who can draw better than Basquiat. But can't nobody think like him. You know what I'm saying? He was very original and he was true to his style. So I want I want y'all to keep that in mind. Don't look at my style or somebody else's and be like, dang, I I'll never be able to get on that level. Cause it ain't that. You just gotta find yourself. You know what I'm saying? Find your style. Master your style. Master your original style. Be comfortable with what you do. What and then you got to ask yourself, okay, what I can bring to the table that's different from everybody else? What's original about me? Because don't nobody want the same of everything. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to buy a CD of an artist and then go out, get another artist CD, but he's singing the same exact songs as the first CD you done bought. And he sound just like the same artist as the first CD you done bought. Don't nobody want the same thing over and over. So the only way you can keep from being the same is being yourself, finding yourself, being confident in what you got. And that's what's going to make you a great artist. You know what I'm saying? When people see your work and be like, dang, I wonder what he was thinking. Because can't nobody think what you was thinking. And that's why we enjoy art. You know what I'm saying? We enjoy art because when we look at it, we want to know what that artist was thinking because we can never think of that. Only they can. That's just like that commercial when they say it's priceless. Your mind is priceless. It'll never be another brain that think the same as yours do so that's what you got to share to the world and with your with your art even if if you're an artist or if you not an artist whatever you do you gotta you gotta bring what you got to offer to the table and you gotta share that because i can never be good at being somebody else i only can be good at being cheap you know what i'm saying so how long it took me to master art? Man, I still ain't master art. To be honest with you, I'm just experimenting. And that's what I do every time I draw. It's just over time, the more you do it, repetition, it, it you'll get better. But to be honest with y'all, every time I draw, it's an experiment. It's just that I, 
I've been doing it for so long where the experiments look, they look better over time. But I didn't always start out. It didn't always start out looking like this. It's just that, you know what I'm saying? The more you do something, you'll have no choice but to get better at it over time. Just like anything, like if you practicing boxing or karate, at first you're going to start out, you ain't going to know how to do nothing, how to break a board or none of that. But if you stay going for a couple years on end, over time you ain't going to realize that you're a black belt now. You know what I'm saying? So even doing this picture, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing. I can't even call my art finished pieces because I always see something like, dang, I, I could do this better. Next time, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. Every time I draw, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, dang, what can I do better? What I need to work on? What I need to improve? I'm I'm a little weak on that in that aspect. I need to work on that on my next picture. It's kind of like a, a basketball player that look over his highlights after the game. You know what I'm saying? Even though they professional basketball players, they still see in areas they want to work on because they know, just like I told you, if you can't, if no one, if there's no such thing as perfect, you always can approve. So that's what, that's one thing y'all need to keep that, keep that in mind. If no one can be perfect, you always have room for improvement. So never, never get too cocky and think, oh man, I'm the best in the world. Because once you start feeling like there's nothing else you can do or you need to work on, you'll stop working to get better. You'll just be content with where you at. Be like, man, I'm already the best. I ain't got nothing to shoot. What I got to prove. When you get that mindset, that's when you know you lost. You just gave yourself a limitation. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I'm still, I've been drawing all my life because I love it. I just got a passion for, like, it's it's very therape therapeutic if I say it that right. Like, man, anytime I'm mad about something, I'm a, I got something on my chest, and I feel like I can't, I, I can't got nobody to vent to, man. I can let it out on this sheet of paper, man. A lot of times we God give us gifts because He know sometimes we gonna need that outlet to get away. You know what I'm saying? So I just give Him all the. I ain't perfect. I ain't saying I'm no no just church junkie, but I am thankful, man. I'm very thankful, and I, I'm pretty sure He know that because if. He gave this gift to me You know what I'm saying So I, he already knew I was going to be a thankful person Because I'm very thankful I bet y'all It's about 30 of y'all Or uh, all of y'all It's probably 10 of y'all Watching my videos right now That's going to wind up being like The next big thing For real that's really going to take it To that next level And when that happened, man, just just send me your achievements, man, so I can celebrate with you, bro. I love to see that. Okay, I think we pretty we pretty much done with the little with the sketch all I'm on. I'm gonna make sure I put these little emphasis on the little mad face. These little emphases. Okay. Now we got that. Let's go ahead and create us a line word layout. Now this the layer you want to take your time. This way you want to make sure everything is exactly how you want it. And another thing too for detail, man. The closer you zoom in, man, the more detail you'll be able to add. So, 
so if you one of those people who don't like to zoom in and you try to draw the whole picture from out here you ain't gonna be able to get it exactly how you want it you gotta really that's why we make that that sketch layer so when we zoom in it'll kind of guide us and keep us on point with where everything is supposed to go Let's see, I'm supposed to make this curve. I'm using my sketch, but also I'm improvising. You know what I'm saying? Don't just stay, don't stay true to your sketch if you know it's areas like, dang, I can do this a little better. I'm using my sketch, but I'm still improvising at the same time. See. Oh, wait, that no curve. I'm trying to look at my comments every now and then. Man, you inspire me to draw respect for your work. Appreciate you, man. Stay grinding, stay doing your thing as well. I got this nose looking right. Soon as I get the face, I go slow on the face because that you want to make the face like you want people to know exactly who you was drawing, especially when you're doing a cartoon style because you kind of altered everything anyway just by making it a cartoon. But after I, after I take my time on the face, everything else should be smooth sailing. Okay. Make sure I got the glasses. This is going to come up clean, man. Now, notice, let's get out this tool right here. We're going to go ahead and got a lot of shadows inside his glasses. Okay, you can't even see inside his glasses for real. So okay. got a shadow. We got a shadow right on his nose. This uh. It's gonna be gonna be pretty dope. Go ahead and do his hair. I'll just go ahead and make it. I'm just filling in all this because we already know it's gonna be black. We're going to come back and add the detail. You know what I'm saying? We're just using this tool to finish to fill in much black area as we can.
You know what this look like? A dope tattoo, man. <laughs> Happy birthday, Malik. Let's see. Let me see. Go ahead and go back to my little G pin. So wait, do you love your job? Man, I love this job, bro. But this is something I would do if I wasn't if it wasn't a job. To be honest with you, I forget it is a job. I just genuinely like genuinely love doing this, bro. Like drawing every day. So basically, I get to work on getting better at what I love to do every day and have people to appreciate what I love to do and inspire people at the same time. Like, that's the best thing in the world, man. Inspiring others doing what you love to do. Stuff on that nail. There we go. Curve it right here. Let's see. Make sure I got my little. Yo, bro, what's good with you? How can you DM me on Instagram? Go to my Instagram and DM me. It just remember it's gonna take a if it take a while for me to get to you, man. I got a lot of people in my my DM, and also I got a lot of kids asking questions, and I try my best to answer as many people as I can. So. It ain't that I'm, I'm ignoring you or anything. It's just it take a while to get to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to make sure everybody happy and jump. Cause I appreciate I appreciate all y'all, man. Y'all the reason I get to do this. So of course. Have I had the new Doritos yet? No. What? <laughs> You got me curious, though. I'm about to have the new Doritos. Yeah, I bought some. I bought some uh, some damn Kroger brand type Doritos. They were off brand though. Well, they weren't the real thing. <laughs> and they don't say Doritos. They ain't Doritos. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, but yeah, they was uh I need to see what he talking about though. You finna have me researching what new Doritos came out. Trying to look at y'all comments at the same time. That's the flavor. What's the flavor? Oh, oh he wait, let me see, he sent a little thing. Oh man, I should, I should find you and slap you in your goddamn face. <laughs> he said pickles and smelly dicks. <laughs> like what the fuck? 
Hey, I ain't answering. He done fucked it up. I ain't answering no more fucking. No more. That's the shit you would have said. Hell no. But you flaw for that. Wait, wait. Do you do you work somewhere or are you a freelancer? Yeah, I'm a freelancer, man. I, I do this for a living. Like, that's all I do. I get up, draw. But my dream job is just to be able to draw without having to do, like, custom work. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to be able to wake up, draw whatever I please. Like a, you know, yeah, basically like a real artist. That's my goal. That's what I'm working towards. I'm getting closer. I'm getting there, but I'm not a hundred percent there. I'm trying to just, cause I'm gonna evolve from this, like as far as just digital. But I'm I'm still gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Whatever I do, art related, I'm gonna always share with you guys. You know what I'm saying? So if I evolve, y'all going to evolve as well with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to just leave YouTube. I do want to start doing like some big art shows. I'm talking about super big art shows where eventually in the future, I'm like just painting on canvases. And then all y'all can just come to my art shows. You know what I'm saying? See some canvases painting, some original pieces. I got million dollar prices on them and stuff like that because it's priceless i want to be one of those artists that's worth millions of dollars but but I, i'm still alive because everybody that's worth millions they dead i be like ah damn bro by the time you blew up you was shit goddamn what Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I get out live, we getting on pull, bro. We got to. Hey, y'all need a y'all need a man. Somebody gotta send me a friend request on Paul G, man. Or you gotta show me how to accept them. Cause bruh. That one game I'm addicted too hard. You know what I'm saying? I tried to cut back on my two K addiction. And all that other stuff like GTA and just I cut back on everything because I said, you know what, man? That's why I couldn't get serious a long time ago on my channel and stuff because I was just really addicted to these games, bro. I'm still in, but that's why low key I want to start adding gaming into my channel, man. I dropped out of school when I realized. The only artist. Yeah, all the artists that them passed away, they don't, they rich. Cause when I used to hear about artists, I used to be like, dang, that's crazy, man. This man painting worth millions of dollars. Then I come to find out, he died thirty something years ago. I be like, shit. So basically, he won. Why the hell? Why the hell people wait till you die before they start appreciating what you do, man? That shit crazy. But that I'm going to break that curse. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be that artist that's still alive, still young, still inspiring, making crazy dough. You know what I'm saying? I want to be mentioned with the greats like Basquiat, Picasso, all of them. But I want to still be young and alive. I don't want to be about time I done blew up doing art. Uh, I got to use all my money for doctor bills because I'm got them pooping on myself and shit like that. Because I'm so old and can't really enjoy the money. I'm just being real. <laughs> I'm, just, you know, I'm dead serious. Shit. I'm like, Arthur, and if I'm old and my shit take off, they like, Arthur, another piece just sold for $8 million and I'm super old. I'm like, man, fuck that shit. Y'all finna 
take it from me anyway with all these goddamn doctor bills. Hey, it's coming together though, y'all. I'm s I might just use this nah I ain't gonna do that because that shit gonna be I was just gonna use this whole draw with this whole little tool I'm using. I'm gonna just go ahead and finish out the shadows and stuff. But yeah, man, when you create, challenge yourself to make original pieces. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Get inspired by other pieces, but don't draw exactly what you see. Try to, whatever you think of, try to draw your ideas. You know what I'm saying? Just try to think of something crazy. Like, I'm going to draw a bat flying with bird wings that's turning into a dragon. Really draw it. Like, don't just say something crazy, playing. Really try to draw something from your ideas. So... And tag me in it. If you do that, if you draw something like from your ideas, man, tag me in it. I want to see it, bro. I want to be inspired by you guys. I have a human uh, 1060. Plus graphics tablet, you do. I got a UG, bro. I, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just like a a cheaper a cheaper brand of a Wacom. But I'm going. Uh, I want to upgrade to a Wacom tablet. It's just that I done got so used to using this. I always procrastinate and say I'm gonna I'm do that. But shit, why switch what's working? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sit down one week and learn this program like completely, all the ins and outs to it, cause I know it's it's way more you can do with this program, bro. And another thing I seen on YouTube, you can like create, you can create your brushes. You can create some crazy brushes on this, like pattern brushes, like chain brushes, and you can. The thing about it, like with brushes, with creating your own brush, it'll save you a lot of time. Like if you don't want to keep redrawing hairs, you can like spend all day making the best hairbrush. Or you can spend all day making the best like fur brush or whatever. And shoot, uh, chain brushes. So when you join pictures and you don't want to keep drawing necklaces over and over, it's a real good program. You just got to learn it. Really, I think school, when you're going to school for digital art, I think mainly they don't teach you. I never went to school for art, so I'm just talking from uh, opinion base. But mainly I think the whole point of going to school for digital art is not to teach you how to draw. It's teaching you how to fully use the program. Because if you fully know how to use programs... You can you don't really have to know how to draw as much. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know all the tricks in the trade to make things work, uh and just make things work in your favor. So that's the big plus. Make sure you try to learn any any software you use, even if you watch my videos but you don't even use the programs I use. Let these videos inspire you to pick up any program that you like. And your first goal before you start drawing, you should really sit down and learn that program. Like, study it. Figure out what do what. Find out about all the shortcut keys. All that. Because if you learn the program, if you master the program and you can draw, sky's the limit what you can do, man. So do that. Because I can honestly say 
I just strictly rely off me knowing how to draw. I don't really sit. After I learn the basics, how to draw, how to find a brush, and how to color, that's that's all I need to know. But I'm going to really sit down and try to study these programs and see what else. Because just like I told y'all at the beginning of the video, can't get perfect, so you always can get better. So I need to get better in a lot of areas. Let me see, draw this little lip right there, blue. I don't even make that bottom lip a little bigger. There we go. And I got this little chin. Alright. I gotta do this little crease right here. The little cheekbone emphasis. I gotta put the little mad wrinkles in the on the eyebrows. Zoop, 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 zoop. Come up. Another thing I noticed too, I got that eye looking like it's swollen on this side. So we gotta add a little more shadows. Let's see. Gotta add a little. A little more shadows over here. Okay. There we go. I was looking better. <coughs> it's coming together slowly but surely. I appreciate y'all for sticking with your boy and watching me. Yeah, Clip Studio is a beast. And what made me get it, man, was the price. I looked at the price, I said, God damn. I want to see, uh, I was curious. And that goes to show you, man, like, you ain't got to spend a lot of money to get the best results. You know what I'm saying? Because this, I'm pretty sure if you got this, if you got this program and you, you like my art style, what I do with Adobe Illustrator, you can do the same thing inside this program, to be honest. Just if you ain't worried about zooming so close and seeing pixels, but you ain't got to worry about that because ain't no way you should be this close. It still look clean, you know what I'm saying? Look real nice. Let's put the shadow right there. This joint came out real nice. And we know we're near finish. I ain't gonna color this one. I'ma just do the I'ma keep it black and white. I might shade it in black and white just to have that old feel to it. Like it's classic. Yeah, that's what we gonna do. We're gonna keep it. We're going to keep it looking old. Old and traditional. Dun, dun. I just use GIMP. What's GIMP? That's an art program. goals for this year my goal for this year man is to hit a million subs on this channel get better with my content for you guys and just just really put out work on get working on getting better at, at putting out great content since i love to do this and i want to just do this 
for forever basically draw draw and share with the world that's what i want to do forever be an artist i want to be like a a real artist and share my music as well but i want to focus on mastering putting out this putting out great content because i can honestly say i ain't there yet but i'm gonna get there you know what i'm saying that's why that's why i've been going live lately just to practice even practice with going live practice with communicating with you guys practice with my engagement and all that i want to get better at all this but the only way you can get better you got to do it because you ain't going if you waiting if you one of those people who say man i'm gonna just wait to to i just get all this and get good how you know how you how you gonna get better if you don't try you gotta lose before you learn how to win so i know a lot of you watch my content and be like man this shit getting old this shit getting boring and that's a good thing i'm and i'll be glad to know that you know what i'm saying so i can work on that I'm, I'm that type of person that like to work at things. I'm not that type of person that I hit at and be like, man, dang, or try to feel bad or find an excuse to feel bad about it. Nah, you can work on it. You just, it's, life is how you look at things. You can look at things as a negative or you can always take things as a positive. And I mean, you can take things as a positive because even when it's a bad situation, what did you learn from that situation like if life is full of lessons you got to look at some bad situations as, as life lessons and that's how i look at it you know what i'm saying so when i'm not performing good or when i can do something better shit, i'll be like well shit, i'm gonna keep trying i'm gonna keep doing it till eventually i become a master at that so <clears throat> that's my goal for this year it's to hit a million subscribers on my channel you know what i'm saying get better with speaking get more confident put out a good message i don't want to i don't want to lead y'all <clears throat> and motivate y'all to do some dumb shit. i'd rather inspire y'all and try to i rather i want to do more good than i do bad and i hope to god that i don't inspire anybody to be fucked up basically or do the wrong thing so that's my goal my goal is just to get better basically at what i love to do and that's sharing with you guys and <clears throat> posting videos putting out content getting better at art and the only way you can get better at at anything is consistency you gotta push yourself to do it you gotta want it and I want it, man. That's why y'all see me post a lot. Even when I'm tired, I be like, man, I gotta get up. I gotta. I'm trying. I'm trying to work on getting better at my channel. I wanna. I wanna get better at this. I gotta post something. I gotta get out here and mess up. I gotta make mistakes. I gotta get out here and fuck up. Cause that's the only way you get better, man. By by trying making mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be cool with making mistakes. A lot of people, they so. They so thinking about the, the mistake that they like that. Don't let don't let your mind stop you from getting better because you're thinking about what if I fuck up? Because I'm going I'm to be I'm going to be straight up real with you. You're going to fuck up. Anything you do in life, you're going to fuck up, bro. So if if what's holding you back is that fear of being terrible, man you you wasting time get out there and be glad you fucking up because eventually you're gonna learn how to clean up what you done messed up you know what i'm saying so i know i'm a terrible i might be a terrible speaker right now and i might just be talking out the side of my neck losing y'all in conversation y'all like damn what the hell he talking about he just he just rambling but i'm doing that because i'm trying to get better at that so this is good practice so i give myself a couple months 
I'll be I'll be better than I am today at, at it if I just stay doing this. And that's when I tell y'all consistency is key. Having the confidence is, is key because it takes a lot of confidence to have the courage to mess up to to put yourself in a position to fail or succeed because at the end of the day you don't know if you're gonna fail or succeed and that 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 thought alone stop a lot of people from going after what they truly want in life just that thought of i might fuck up i might mess up you just gotta get that out your mind and you just gotta be confident in yourself and you gotta look at it mistakes or learning experiences see i can't even talk right which i get what i'm trying to say i love your artwork appreciate you man thank you for the support bro y'all want me to check out y'all artwork man because sometimes i just be i get on instagram not even to take orders for real sometimes i just get on to try to find out to try to talk to people you know what I'm saying? Like randomly, I message uh so a follower of mine and just see what they got. Or I go look at they 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 artwork and go check out what they doing. <clears throat> so if y'all want me to check out some of y'all pictures and stuff, man, if you got an IG, just tag me in your stuff, and hopefully I see it, man, so I can go check it out, see what y'all got, cause it's a lot of you guys that's that's talented man that's crazy talented like just like y'all look at me i'll be looking at y'all some of y'all work just like oh my god bro this dude this dude got it i don't believe in that acting too good and shit like you just too big for somebody I'm not that type of person, so please don't assume that about me. Like, if I ain't seen your message or if I ain't responded back to you, it's really because I ain't see it, bro. Or I'm just too busy where I don't, I really don't. When I get on Instagram and stuff, like, if I'm not, if I'm not taking orders or responding to fans or answering questions or something like that, bro. I'm just strolling like y'all to be strolling, looking for funny videos and all that stuff. Trying to find out what's going on in the hip hop world. <laughs> I'm just being a regular person. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This picture coming out, it's coming out pretty dope, man. As I can say so myself. I want to get it finished before, before the day over with, though, dog. Before the sun go down. Hey, another thing, too. I love y'all watching my videos, but still find time to get y'all some practice in, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be greedy. I know I want all the views and all the, the watch time, but at the, at the end of the day, I still want y'all to work on what whatever y'all want to get better at as well. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that's probably the reason you even subscribe to my channel is because you wanted to learn how to get better. So make sure you, you, you practicing as well. You know what I'm saying? So... Get out there and grind, bro. Get out there and get it in. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have shirts coming soon for y'all, man. I promise you. I just don't want to put out no basic stuff, bro. Like, I'm really saving. Because I'm trying to buy one of those official machines. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of them $20,000 printers because i always wanted to start a printing company but i don't want to start a company that's putting out poor quality just because i'm trying to make a quick dollar i want to i want to start a company that's respected you know what i'm saying where when people buy my pictures they also buy like 
great quality. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to offer something that other people can't offer. Anybody can take a still a picture of mine and and go sell it on a shirt and put it on a low quality product. But I'm not trying to I'm not trying to do that, bro. I want to put out the best. So that's what I've been looking at. I've been looking at some official, you know what I'm saying, business printers. And as soon as I get get all the money up, bro, my YouTube fam going to be the first to know. And I promise you, that's why I ain't dropped no merch or nothing like that yet. Because when I, when, I, when I drop, I want to drop for real. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather, I'd rather wait. Then trying to trying to make a quick dollar and I sell to you guys one good time, but you never come shop with me again because my quality is so like terrible. Y'all would be like, what the f gee, I love you, but I ain't buying this shit no more. You cheap as hell. Goddamn shirt ripped as soon as I put it on. Goddamn <laughs> the picture faded as soon as I watched it one time. <laughs> Y'all be mad as hell. I probably lose subscribers after I do that. And still be dropping commercials talking about so y'all go buy the next shirt. Get my next shirt. Get a stream printer. I was thinking of that, but I want to get one of them lazy machines where I ain't got to do nothing. Because I don't pay so much money for the machine. The machine do all the work. Because you got to think, I still got to have time to be able to do all the other stuff. I don't I don't want to be forced to have to focus on anything but creating. So everything I buy need to make it easy for me to just do this. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to create. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want to do. Create and share with you guys. Another thing I want to do too, I'm just letting y'all know a lot of little ideas of my man. I want to, I want to have posters. Just say if I draw this, I want to make like limited edition posters. I want something original to be about my piece. So when you buy my my artwork, like just say if I I, I drew a piece and I'm selling prints, I want to only sell so many copies of that prints. So my true fans can have s certain posters that certain people ain't got and they can really trade out my work because it, it'll it never be printed again they're like man i got the only one i got the the 30 30 copy the one the this gonna be the last one ever printed he ain't printing no more of these and i just want my junk even my digital art i want it to be valued i want it to have value but I'm pretty sure deeper in my career, I'm going to have more original pieces, man. I'm going to start painting for real because I do want to leave a, a a real deal legacy behind. I don't want to get put in a box because a lot of people try to put me in a box now. Like, you a great digital artist. Nah, bro, I'm a great. I want to be a great artist. I want to be known as one of the greats. I want my. I want my art to live longer than me. You know what I'm saying? So that's the goal. That's the long-term goal is getting to that that level with what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? So basically, whatever your dream is, man, do everything you can to make that your job. Because I'm pretty sure if I was a if I if I couldn't draw and my dream was to be like a a, a dancer or anything else, anything but what I wanted to be today, I would be doing everything I possibly could to make that my income. And then I put myself in a position where, okay, I'm finna put myself in, I'm finna put my back against the wall. Like if I don't make no money doing what I love to do, then I guess I won't make no money at all. So that means I'm forcing myself to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I put myself in that position. Like, man, I got to make this my, I got to make it. You know what I'm saying? If, if people have more confidence in they self, 
than filling out an application for somebody else, man. It'd be so many. I believe it'd be so many like bosses, like so many wealthy people, cause I believe everybody got a purpose in life that's bigger than what they was taught. Because you got to think. We wasn't born with doubt. Doubt was taught to us. Somebody taught us how to not believe and not have faith. And that's 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 silly to be a dreamer. Somebody taught us that. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to hear some faith, go talk to a kid. Like, I'm talking about a kid, kid, a small kid, like a, a child. Go talk to them and listen to their dreams. That's what, the kids are the most happiest people on the, on this earth because ain't nobody stopping them from dreaming. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody stopping them from dreaming. But I feel like adults should have that peace inside of them. Like you should you should still be believing in you. You should believe strongly in what you want to do. And you should be passionate about making making it come true. You, and you always ain't gonna have people supporting you. So get that out your head. Like, man, I ain't got nobody telling me. Or everybody always doubted me. Like, that's what they supposed to do. But you don't even supposed to give it value. It's up to you to give what the doubters value. So at the end of the day, it's really your fault. If you give somebody value if you give somebody negative opinion about what you want to do with your life value then it's your fault because we can all listen but we don't have to take that you know what i'm saying so remind yourself if, if you got somebody around you that's down you man don't give it value you know what i'm saying don't give it no value i know i won't there was so many people before i started making any kind of money there were so many people telling me what they think i should do with my life i'm like nigga what you think i should do with my life or acting like they disappointed with me because i'm not doing what they think i should do with my life but shit like knowing you know how i think i'm like man I'm gonna do what I want to do. You feel me? And I'm not. Uh, yo, I'm not seeking for anybody validation. You can't. You can't care about no nobody opinion. I damn sure didn't. I just let people thought whatever. But I knew. I knew my game plan. You know what I'm saying? While they were thinking I was wasting time or just. Man, you just wasting your talent. You just wasting your gift. I was like, okay, cool. That's what you think. But you can stay thinking that because I ain't finna let you know what I got planned. Obviously, you, you already let me know how you feel about me. So why should I share with you something that's so valuable? You get what I'm saying? But them same people, the same people that was telling me, Oh man, you just wasting. You should be. You should be this. You should be that. The same people will see me today and be like, "I'm so proud of you." But little do they know why. They, when they was doubting, I had this on my mind all along. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to tell y'all is, you are you ain't gonna have people believing you at first. You ain't gonna have nobody supporting you at first. But that don't mean you should stop supporting you. You got to be your biggest fan before anybody else be anything for you. Cuz ain't nobody going to believe into ain't nobody going to believe in you until you make your dream reality. Till you make your dream be able to be seen cuz can't nobody see what you dream about. So with that said, man, whatever you want to do with your life, stay focused. Shut out all the naysayers. I don't care if it's a close loved one because the enemy try to attack us through the people we care about. Because if somebody was telling you some crazy shit, if a bum on the street was telling you some crazy shit, you would look at it as, oh, that's just a bum. 
But if somebody you truly love and care about with your heart and your feelings is saying some crazy shit, it's going to touch you different. So with that said, you got to learn how to shut out. You got to learn how to shut out the negativity, the, the negativity, man. And you got to realize we, we in spiritual we in spiritual warfare. The enemy going to try to attack you in any way it could, any way it can. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you, you be your biggest fan, your biggest supporter. Never stop believing in yourself. You ain't gonna have nobody believing in you at first, but that's don't let that be your excuse of why you can't be great. Cause a lot of people, a lot of people like to do that. They like to make excuses for themselves. Be like, man, I ain't man. My my such and such was never there. My such and such was there, never there. This person was never there. They was never there, but you was there for yourself. So you telling me you only you only care about yourself if somebody else care about you? That's why you got to learn how to have that confidence. You got to learn how to love yourself. Appreciate everything. Take everything as a learning experience. Like anything I go through in life, even if it was crazy, I I look at it later and I try to find out, okay, why did I go through that? What was what, what was the message out of that I just went through that was so what did I what did I learn from that? And then when you reevaluate it, you like, dang, I learned so much from that situation. Even if you watching my videos and you going through some heartbreak right now. You I'm I'm dead serious. You watching my video and you just you just depressed cause your girlfriend or your boyfriend or broke up with you and you think it's the end of the world. It ain't, bro. Trust me. Because a year from now, a year two from now, that person you was talking about killing yourself over, that that, that ain't going to be your taste next year. You're going to be looking at that person like, damn, why, why was I even? That ain't even my taste no more, man. My, I done raised my standards. So, shit, man. Everything is a life lesson. And once you realize that, it. You, you, you'll just see that everything is a blessing. And that shit rhyme. I ain't even try to do that. <laughs> rap, rap skills. Hey, how can I donate for you? Oh, man. Shoot, how you can donate? Hey. Bro, just by you even say, who, what's your name? Tamit. Tamit. 51. I just appreciate even if you can't donate to me, bro, just by you saying that, that meant something to me. I appreciate you, bro. You ain't even got to donate. I, I feel like you donated. Man, I got cheated on. God dang. Name it, man. I got stabbed, kidnapped, robbed, ran over. <laughs> hey, but nah, you can tell. Bro, I'm going to tell you, when you start going through things in life, bro, you will realize, like, I'm so glad I went through everything I went through in life because it made me who I am today. And then you start realizing after you go through so much, shit don't even be that deep. That's how I be feeling. I'm like, man, shit ain't even that deep. Yeah, that's how I see it, bro. Any anytime you go through something, it's just gonna make you. It's gonna make you stronger. It's going to make you better. So you, you got to look at any situation you in. Don't look at it as like, man, dang, this this making me depressed or this making me sad. No, don't look at it like that. Learn from that. Learn from that situation. She daddy. Boy, ain't you got that daddy, boy? <laughs> My birthday is July. You feel me? Birthday July, man. And I wouldn't lie. My bad, bro. I ain't get paid yet. That's the sky. Nah, it's all good, man. I'm just 
I'm just glad that y'all even think I'm worth having to donate. Oh, oh, I was just playing, bro. I ain't got kidnapped. Shit, I got, shit, got kidnapped on Pud G. But shit, nah, ain't nobody kidnapping me, man. I know I'm a positive dude, bro, but shit, nigga gonna have to catch, catch a couple of these hands, you feel? <laughs> Soon as nigga grab me, he gonna grab a couple hits in the face. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> they gonna drop me real quick. I've been a. You feel me? Oh shit! <laughs> that was dope. Nigga try to kidnap me. He gonna take a nap. Yeah. For real, man. Like, I just got mad for somebody even thinking I was able to get kidnapped. <laughs> Nah, I was just playing. Nah, it was a joke. I was just using that. I was just trying to say I've been through it. I've been through a lot of stuff, man. But me going through a lot of stuff made me who I am today. I would share the tip, but the thug in me won't let me cry. Nah. Nah, I've been through a lot, though, man. <laughs> I'm done with you, bro. Nah, we about to get on Paul G, though. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, we about to get on, get on that, get on this pub. Man, I got all these guns still. Hey, this joint fire! Look at this picture, T. Yeah, man, I make sure you look. You know, I shoot. When you say it, dope, it mean the world to me, bro. Like, what the hell? My whole goddamn heart lift up. I be like, I see how them kids be feeling when they be like, Mama, look at this picture. I be like, T, look, look, T, what you think? Okay, we're going to draw the trigger. But yeah, man, your boy done been through a lot, man. That's why your boy know a lot, man. You feel me? God dang, Sprint. 40 years on that earth. Let me stop. <laughs> oh, you talking about what you call it? <laughs> I talk loud, don't I? Oh, oh, it got a filter. <laughs> I hope that shit picked up so I can go back and watch that shit. <laughs> I'm about to sweat the deal, bro. Uh, I'm hot as hell. What I use when I join Illustrator. Like, what you mean? What tablet I use? I'm using my UG if you're talking about what tablet. Don't artists, I mean, don't artists pay you for you doing their pictures? Yeah, a lot of artists pay me for uh, drawing their pictures. <clears throat> I used to be so excited, man, when artists used to hit me up to draw pictures. I used to be like, man, this joint dope. Then after a while, I just started realizing, man, I'm an artist, man. I'm big myself. They regular people. We all regular people. This I start I started looking at it just like any other person, man. Cause that's how all people really be. People. Artists and all your favorite celebrities, they be regular people that we give attention so they can feel like they're no longer human. You know what I'm saying? Like, people start getting so much attention and then they forget, like, bro, you still, you still a person. You ain't, you still a regular person. 
That's one thing. Beyonce is an amazing talent, but she's still human, sorry. Beyonce is still human. Put it this way, if we was ever in danger and it was time to, I'm not trying to save her because she Beyonce. She better duck. You feel me? Like, shout it. Look, I know you Beyonce, but look, I got to save myself, shout it. You feel me? Kanye that nigga, man, but he's still human, though, dog. Nah, I'm keeping all that. I love Beyonce, though. Cause Jay, my favorite rapper. If y'all ever want to know who my favorite rapper is in the world, Jay-Z. I'm going to let y'all know all my favorite artists. So y'all can just have a little fun fact about Chi. I ain't going to put it in no order. But I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. Man, let me say it. God dang. Now, Tupac, Jay-Z, Lauryn Hill, and Sade. That's like, them my favorite, bro. Them the dopest people in the world to me, art, artist-wise. Them my favorite food. Them my favorite food. Oh, shit, damn. My girl made some goddamn uh, Rotel dip. I don't even know no more. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's a tough one. I like to eat though, man. Like my favorite food is whatever we eating that day. I just don't like seafood. That's it. Like if it ain't seafood, I eat. Wait, I eat tuna, but that's the only thing, huh? But I don't really like salmon. I be capping. I just know when I'm hungry, bro. It don't matter. I can hate sea. I can hate seafood, but I'm one of them, bro, we from the hood, bro. Like, if you hungry, bro, they say you ain't hungry if you just picky. If you, if you say you hungry, but you still picky about what you going to eat, bro, you ain't really hungry. Nigga, I eat some nasty-ass raisins. <laughs> I hate raisins, bro. I was like, whoever invented that shit, my mama used to keep them in the refrigerator. Shit, if I wanted some dried up grapes, I just squeeze the juice out, out of the regular one. But I hate raisins. I used to, I'm going to tell you what I hated. I hated the raisin commercial. Them little things look as scary as hell. The, the fat old raisin commercials they made with the fat raisin carrot. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show y'all tomorrow if I go live. These fat ass raisins they made. Yeah, man, that shit used to be, I used to be like, what the fuck? Well, this shit came out. It came out player. Another artist I really, I really used to listen to heavy too. Kanye. I forgot to put Kanye on my list. My bad. Kanye inspired me so much, man. Especially high school. My last year of high school, I was like, I was strictly Kanye. 808s and heartbreaks. Like, I was on Kanye heavy. Like, I used to just listen to Kanye and draw. So that nigga, that nigga is a genius, bro. I really think Ye, Ye is so smart, man. He misunderstood. Like, if people really listen, to what he try to say, I know it come out wrong, but if you really listen to what he's saying, cause I got mad, I ain't gonna lie, I got mad when he said, uh, slavery is a choice. I was like, damn, that was the dumbest shit. I, I love Kanye when he said that, I was like, man, that's the dumbest shit this man could ever say. But then I started thinking about it. I was like, bruh, if you think about the content of what he's saying, Slavery is a choice. That meaning we didn't realize we had the power to not be that. Like, because they, when we were slaves, we wasn't allowed to read because they didn't want us to have the knowledge 
to know we it was a choice for us to be controlled. So I was like, damn, this nigga made sense. He just should have explained it and he should have articulate he should've explained it better. Nah, he didn't. Cause shit, after he said that, he blurted that shit out. Everybody was like, man, fuck, yay. <laughs> fuck the boots. <laughs> Yo, but yeah, a genius, man. Yeah, a genius. And the reason I rock with him, bro, because he don't a lot of people just say celebrity wise they try to say things so they don't get in trouble they try to be politically correct they don't be real they just try to be they try to be politically correct what 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 video what they don't try to be real they just try not to get in trouble by the media I ain't buddy throwing hands. <laughs> yeah, that's all crazy. But now nah, what I'm trying to say is people don't when they get to a certain level, you can tell that they don't want to they don't want to say what they truly feel. They want to say what won't get them in trouble. And we live in in a sense, really, we living in a sense. The world and got most sensitive anyway, where you really can't say what you feel without everybody getting so sensitive. You can't say nothing. When, once you reach a certain level of fame and success, and you think you think freedom of speech is cool, you you wind up saying the wrong thing, bro. They gonna drop you from the top. Who I'm drawing? I'm drawing Malcolm X. You feel me? That's why you see all the X's everywhere. I'm trying to think. Should I? Okay. Let's see what I should do. I'm going to draw a shade right here. <coughs> Make it flow a little better. Hold on. Hold on. Another shadow right here. Oh shit, I don't fucked up. Another shade. Yeah, just looking. It's coming together, you guys. Looking dope. See the goal when you drawing, try to come up with original pieces. <clears throat> like you will never see this picture right here nowhere unless when i post it you know how the internet do they start taking your picture and then they start putting these little quotes with it like but yeah this is a, a original piece i just put together and all you <clears throat> artists is watching this video i know y'all got some dope ideas in your mind that you gotta bring to life and let us see so we can look at your work and be like man that was crazy that's dope so, put this right here Frosted Flakes or Fruit Loops. F Fruit Loops, girl. That ain't even, that shouldn't even been no, that shouldn't even been no, uh, no question. Which brush am I using? I'm not using a brush. I'm using this little tool right here, the uh, the figure, U tool, the lasso feel. That's where you find it. The lasso feel tool. That's what I'm using. And what it do? It's like it fill in the closed area, like the inside of it. 
So whatever you draw is going to fill in that area. So I use that to do my coloring and my shading. And it'll save you a lot of time, man. From coloring, having to color all this in, I can just lasso where I want everything to go. Where I want the shadows to go. And then when I'm finished, it'll just close it off for me. Other thing too, I'll put some detail on this halo. <clears throat> bro skill what's up bro take coming soon fam i know you waiting on it i'm gonna drop me i'm gonna drop me a hard look just like just like y'all like my artwork i'm pretty sure man you gonna be in the future, you're going to be big fans of my music. Watch what I say. And when I get my first Grammy and I get on stage and, you know, they <clears throat> when they shouting everybody out, I'm going to shout out the creative game, my YouTube family, man. After I shout out God, because, you know, you got to put God first, man. After I shout God out, I'm going to be like, man, hey, and... Who I want to thank, I want to thank all my supporters from the YouTube family, man, that was watching me grow like a, what, wait, hey, pause, y'all, I gotta go to the bathroom, I've been holding this, <laughs> I've been holding, it. you know how you try to rush your picture because you gotta go to the bathroom, Hey, let me. Hey, I'm finna. Let me put this on. Hey, don't y'all go nowhere. I'm gonna be mad, man. I'm gonna be mad if I come back and everybody don't stop watching my video. Alright, wait. How you, uh. How you. We bite in full effect. Where my pen at? Oh shit, where did I put that pen? I don't lost my. <clears throat> oh, here it go. Got my pen. We back in full effect. Man, I appreciate y'all for staying tuned and watching your boy create, man. We almost finished with this thing, though. As far as the line work. Take this down some so I can get a little more control. Yeah. 
Give him the hair fit. They want to see the ex beside my name like Malcolm. I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna let you go ahead and let y'all know, man. Since y'all the real supporters, man, y'all gonna know before everybody before I even put it out, <clears throat> before I even start advertising it on other platforms. I'm gonna have a big art show this summer, man, in Atlanta. I'm looking for the venue now. And I'm gonna have a lot of original pieces of mine there, like that I ain't put on, that I'm gonna start drawing. And I ain't even on the internet. I ain't gonna post it until after the art show. Like, but it's gonna be a lot of original pieces at this art show. And the art show will be in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you close by, man, just just be ready. For the announcement, I'll make sure I announce it on uh, YouTube as well so y'all can stay up to date and know if, if you want to come. And then, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to have a, a, a ticket giveaway for a couple people on my channel, man. I appreciate y'all for the support, man. Y'all the reason this channel exists. If it weren't for y'all, man, it won't even be no channel. So, I really genuinely appreciate all you guys for y'all support man like y'all the reason we turned up and y'all the reason i want to get better at my videos i just want to make better content i just don't want to put out content because it's gonna make money i want to put out content because it's real good you know what i'm saying because money gonna come eventually especially if i'm really putting out some good quality work so my main focus is putting out great quality content for you guys and working on getting better at that so art show coming soon atlanta georgia that's where it's gonna be at this summer it's gonna be lit man i'm gonna have i'm gonna have good vibes there we're gonna have somebody playing live on the keyboard on the on the piano keys singing gonna have some good food man we're gonna be able to vibe out y'all be able to kick it with your boy man i'm the same i'm the same dude i am online dog i'm corny as hell <laughs> you know you know how people people be live and then when you meet them in real life they all quiet and shit they like yeah hey nah bro i'm goofy i'm the same me man from the trenches. This uh, this uh, this picture came together though. We all more. I'm more finna with this one. Are you going to that you in Atlanta? My father, that's what's up, bro. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make sure you know ahead of time. I'm gonna make sure y'all get the info. Speaking of this week, I'm gonna go look for some venues to have it at. Like I wanna have it at a dope venue. Super dope venue, man. It's really gonna be an experience, like, cause it's like this is gonna be like my first real art show. You know what I'm saying? And then later on in the future, it's gonna be like more, way more thought put into it, where I have like a theme going, and it's real live paintings and. We got a budget where we can invite an artist, like a big name artist to come perform and all that. I want to really like take all my art shows to the next level. So the first one going to be dope. So if you come to the first one, it's going to be dope. But just know, 
it's gonna get even doper, bro. Cause I'm gonna put all I got. Cause this is what I wanna do for the rest of my life. So I ain't got no choice but to get better at it. You know what I'm saying? I wanna draw, create, have art shows, create music. So that's all I wanna get better at, man. Creating. I wanna be known as one of the the greats, artist wise. You know when people think of when I used to think when people say artists. Like, when they used to start talking about music artists, I used to be thinking, like, dang, they can draw? When I was young, I used to be like, dang, they can draw? I want to be the first artist artist that they that can do it. Like, when people say, dang, he, he an artist, I want people to mean that. Like, no, nah, he can really paint. I want to make more money off art than anything, than music, than anything. I want art. I want to be known as like an official artist. That's my goal. An all around artist. Because I just love anything create. I just love to create. Whether it's trying to make sounds, music, pictures. If it got something to do with creating, man, just know I'm trying to have my hands in it a little bit. Video editing, all that. Anything dealing with create, creating, I'm interested in. When I'm dropping my beats on SoundCloud, man, <clears throat> I'm going to start dropping beats, but I want to I wanna get a website together. Once I once I get everything together, I want to do it all where it all be on one platform. I don't want people to have to go to different places to find my work. I want them to be able to go to like a one-stop shop. So once I get my printer to sell sell my merch and all that y'all gonna be able to go to the website y'all gonna be able to buy shirts coffee mugs hats cups socks got dang stickers for your computer i'm i just wanna i wanna make it i just wanna make it next level man i've been saving for it for quite some time but trust me by the time we release it's gonna be worth the wait, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you work out every day to become better than me. Don't limit yourself. If you're working just to get better than me, nah, don't limit yourself. You just work out every day to be the best you could be. Cause who's to say just being yourself is already surpassing me? You know what I'm saying? So don't give yourself no limitation. Cause who I who I'm in competition with is myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be better than me. Because if you notice, you can never leave your shadow. You know what I'm saying? Like if you trying to punch faster, if you're looking in the mirror and you're trying to punch faster than your shadow, you can never do it. But if you're trying to to do that and you're practicing on doing that 24/7, you're going to be amazing. Because like you can never stop getting better. You know what I'm saying? Like, be in competition with yourself if you want a true challenge. Always push yourself to be better than yourself. You gonna be a what? Nah, you can never be God. <laughs> we already know what happened to the first person who tried to be God. He's Satan. <laughs> he a devil now. Nah. <laughs> yeah, so nah, don't try to be God, man. You're going to bite off more than you can chew, man. You feel me? Just try to be a good example of showing how powerful God is by being you. Just, you know what I'm saying? By you truly being yourself. Make people want to learn who God is. Because they like, dang, this man's so dope. And he say he got it all from God. I want to know who God is. That's our goal, really. Your goal is to use your gifts you was blessed with, inspire others to find a relationship with the higher source, which is God. You know what I'm saying? Because if you build a relationship with God, man, that's that's the cheat code of life, bro. Even if, if you, you watching my videos and you don't believe in none of this, I'm trying to tell you, bro, that's the cheat code of life. If you got God on your side, how you gonna lose, bro? 
We talking about the the man that created everything. How you gonna lose with the creator? I be asking him for so much stuff, bro. It'd be ridiculous. God be like, dang, G. Dang, bro. And I don't even ask for material things no more. When I was younger, I used to ask for things like that. I just ask for like the the power, like the strength to be more active. Like, God, make sure I stay focused. Keep me, give me the energy to grind. You know what I'm saying? I pray for things like that. I pray to be spiritually like good, you know what I'm saying? Without where well, I ain't stressing about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm trying to tell you, man. If you don't believe in a man, life gonna be tough. It's already tough. So I just imagine for the those who ain't got no faith in nothing like you ain't got nothing to look forward to like you know what I'm saying but and then you gotta think about it even if you don't believe in God I would I would try to know I even try to just figure out like okay people on earth judge you God don't judge nobody man like as far as like he accept you for being you. People on earth don't even accept you for being yourself, bro. So you just got to think like, okay, this this man love me. You say he love me. He don't even know me. And I even if you didn't just say if I didn't believe in God. And I'd be like, okay, I don't believe in God. But he still love me. And he I still can call on him and shit like he forgive me. But everything you mean I can go I can go slap a nun and he'll forgive me like all my sins is forgiven like bro like god damn you you do okay just say if you got so you got a friend even if you got a dog hard friend do something extra fucked up like go slap his mama I'm pretty sure he ain't gonna forgive you for that <laughs> he ain't I don't care how long you knew this person he ain't gonna forgive you for that God forgive you so, I'm just trying to say, bro. And he got your best interest at heart. Because he don't want anything from you. He don't. He really don't need you. <laughs> he don't need you at all, bro. So, he, you, you ain't hurting God by not believing. You're basically hurting yourself. And what do, what do you got to lose? You don't lose anything for believing in God. So... It's not like, okay, all the people who believe in God gonna have to pay extra money, uh, gonna have to, nah, bro, you can just be yourself. I'm being myself. I ain't trying, I believe in God, but I don't try to act like something I'm not. Like, I'm still, I'm still country. I'm still, like, ignorant certain levels. Like, I'm being me. I ain't gotta try to look a certain way. But we living in a world where... You're not accepted until you act like what's accepted. Meaning, I can't go to a job interview being myself. I got to go dressed in a suit. You can come to God, man, and some goddamn whatever you want. You feel me? You can, man, God, God accept you however you is, bro. So... I know I don't talk. I ain't try to take y'all to church, but I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to really let y'all know about me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My beliefs and also, yeah, really just. I'm just being, yeah, I'm just being. Then y'all know what I believe in, man. You feel me? I ain't trying to pressure nobody. I ain't trying to. Make anybody feel, none of my followers feel uncomfortable, man. I'm just letting y'all know what I believe in. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody will hear this and they they needed that, you know what I'm saying? Or they go find a, a build a relationship with God and then they find out more about themselves. Because I guess when people think of God, they think of a certain image that they don't like. Like, oh, he's a such and such or he's this. Man... 
you it ain't about how he look or none of that it's just about building a relationship with him because believe it or not bro we in a spiritual world this is a spiritual world and we if this world was a spiritual you won't have any feelings or emotions because emotions you can't touch emotions you can't touch feelings and if you can't touch it but you can feel it it's spiritual it's something that's touching you on the inside I don't have to touch you to make you cry. I don't have to touch you with my hand to make you mad. I don't have to touch you to piss you off. I can touch you spiritually, though. I can bother your soul. I can bother your mental. And that's what I'm telling y'all. It's a spiritual world, whether you believe it or not. Because if you can't, if something affects you without touching you or putting your hands on you, if it's not a spiritual world and you don't believe in God and you're just crazy, then you're a lunatic. Because why are you why are you mad? Why are you crying? Why are you upset if I'm not touching you? So I, that, that's just me breaking it down. Because you got to think, I thought, as deep as I think, I used to try to think away like, why? Like, that ain't no such thing. You try to make yourself not believe in something because you really just be it's it it's just the just it's too much to wrap your thought around like to even try to think of it you try to always we always try to find a reason to be rebellious it's just in our human nature we always try to find a reason like if our parents say you can't go to this friend house because they doing this and they doing that we'll try to find a reason well, what's so wrong with that? Or why? Why they don't want us over there? Or why? That's just in our nature to be rebellious. So when I hear a lot of people saying, man, I don't believe in that. Or I don't believe in that. It's just the fact is they don't want to sit down and try to even fathom or un try to even have an understanding about it. Because it is deep. It's deeper than what you think. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about me as an artist as a creator myself i think 24 7 you know what i'm saying i think 24 7 like meaning when i'm not drawing i'm thinking i'm thinking you know what i'm saying and with that with that in mind i'm like i always think about the source like okay if I'm made in God's image, obviously a piece of him is in me. So if I'm thinking about something that I wasn't taught, it was naturally installed in me. Because y'all y'all won't even believe this when I tell you. I never, I'm a Christian. I never read the Bible. So that goes to show you something. That should tell you something. Basically, what's right is it's a feeling like it's a it's natural like you can't even you can't even pretend i can't even pretend if something's wrong i mean that's if something's not right like i i'm so i think i'm so attached with my spiritual side like I know when something's not right. I know when something's not wrong without even, you don't even have to tell me that's not right or that's, that's, that's wrong. You shouldn't do that because we're naturally, it's naturally put in you. You deep down know something is wrong with this picture when something is wrong. And that's your spiritual side. When you, you, you feel it, it's a feeling. So. Oh man, you sold your foe. I like that, man. I'm 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 kind of crying inside that you said you done sold your PlayStation 4. But that's a hey, my I tip my hat off to you, man. That's the most that's that's a what's his name? It's it's Giorgio. Man, that's the most powerful move. Man, that's the most powerful 
that's the most powerful thing you did for yourself you're taking yourself serious instead of instead of getting good at a video game that's not going to be beneficial to you in the future you decided to do something that's going to help you in the long run i respect that and i know how i feel bro because i'm a bro i'm a gamer bro like like hey y'all i love video games bro but i know i'm so addicted to playing all kinds of video games that i i gotta i gotta pull myself away from that i didn't i like i didn't even pack my playstation 4 or none of that i just left it i just left my playstation 4 where it's at it's probably in the closet somewhere but i'm in love with video games as well but i tell myself okay i gotta do so much in a day before i can relax and even play a mobile game on my phone like i won't even play PUBG, uh, a cell phone game if i haven't did so much work in that day that's beneficial to what my goals are you know what i'm saying so it's cool to have fun but just like that Wiz Khalifa song say, you gotta work hard, then play hard. So have that have that routine about yourself. Work hard, play hard. He said work first. He didn't say play hard, then go work hard. No, you gotta put in that work. So when you playing, you can relax. Cause you like, damn, I done put in so much work. I can really have some chill time now. But that's a that's a that's a that's a big move you made, man. Cause I know it's hard to get get rid of the foe. Letting go the foe, man. That's like losing a loved one. I'm telling you, cause I'm a PlayStation Four person as well. I ain't with the Xbox. Everybody doing the Xbox. We we still PS Four. Yeah. You right, man. You right. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all a story, man. I'm gonna tell y'all like, I believe, bro. The stronger. That's why they say build a relationship with them because once you do that, bro, it's like the secret to life. I kid you not. I was chilling at my friend's studio, right? And while I was chilling there. Just like I told y'all, I got a bad feeling. But I know that feeling, since it's not touching me, it's spiritual. You feel me? So I was like, I got a bad feeling. I was in the studio. I was just happy. And all of a sudden, because I, I was recording music at the studio. And all of a sudden, I started feeling bad. So I went happy. I went from happy to immediately concerned about something i was just in there vibing because i was making songs and making beats and then i just got a bad feeling all of a sudden and then i told everybody because i know you were thinking your mind now i'm not finna tell anybody i'm tweaking i'm i'm being crazy right now but i told everybody as soon as i started feeling bad i know it was random because i was just happy but i said i said something's about to go down bro i got a bad feeling about today and I told everybody because I, I'm true to my feelings and the spiritual and all that. I said, something about to go down. I feel it. And there's a couple people in there was looking at me like, man, he tripping. But then the people who really value my opinions was like, you, 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 you for real, bro? I said, bro, I feel something about to go down. And it was just a weird feeling. And I, I even second guessed myself. I was like, man, I'm in the studio tripping. That's what I was telling myself in my head. I was second guessing the true feeling though. Cause I didn't want to look crazy to everybody. But then I said, but I also want to protect everybody if that feeling is real. So I told everybody, I said, bro, I feel like something finna go down. And then I started like, I know my friends they like to party and stuff so i was trying to protect them and find out the camera where the camera was at inside my because my friend on the studio i was trying to find out where the camera was at so i can take the camera 
surveillance and and rip it up and tear it up because i had a feeling something was finna go down and i swear to god it was just a feeling i didn't have no 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 tip something was finna go down i didn't have none of that it was just a feeling so i left and a lot of people that rock with me they left as well they was like man you well shoot i'm about to leave too I kid you not, as soon as I said I had that feeling while I was packing my bags to leave, two of my friends got in a fight at, at the studio right then. They just started getting in a fight randomly. So I broke I broke that up. Me and another friend broke that up. And we was like, dang, why are, why are they why are they tweaking? Like they just got in a random argument and they just started fighting. So we broke that up. And I was like, man, dang it, why this junk just why the vibe just getting so bad? And then it was a guy there. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell you no name. He came, and he, he, he used to be at the studio a lot as well. But he used to just come and like add little things to the studio to try to make it feel more at home. And he bought like a goddamn a bafflement head, like some old crazy shit but the reason i started looking at it even crazier because i already before it all was going down i was already having just like i told y'all a bad feeling about everything so i said man you know what i'm about to do i just grabbed my my laptop and i just went to the house me and a couple a couple of my friends went to the house and i went to sleep when i went to the house i kid you not i swear i swear before god I got a phone call from one of my homeboys that wasn't taking me serious, that didn't leave. He said, oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God, guess what happened? I said, what happened? He said, the studio just got kicked in. I kid you not, bro. He said that. He said, the studio just got kicked in. And I'm trying to tell you, bro, like, I get so much, like, I'm not saying I'm no psychic, cause I don't believe in that psych. I don't. I get discernment, and I know it's because I built a strong relationship with God, bro. And you know how they say that prayer. Um, what it is, where you uh, no, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. With that said, that's like a protection prayer. You know what I'm saying? So, and I I felt like after that, I always think after every situation, I think of it. And I'd be like, dang, this, he was really protecting me because I was there. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. I feel, I truly feel like the reason I even got that feeling because God was trying to protect me because I was there. And by me being there, it helped the people that was around me. I kid you not, bro. And I've been in a, a lot of situations. I've been in a lot of situations where I used to didn't act off that feeling. I used to feel something was finna go down. But I still stayed because I used to be like, I used to ain't think that deep or see nothing of it. But I've been in some situations where I just thought about it like, dang, I feel like I feel bad all of a sudden. I feel like something finna go down. But I wind up staying and shit go down with and I wind up in fucked up situations. But then I started looking at it like what it was like God tried. God work in mysterious ways, you know what I'm saying? And these feelings and emotions, it's all connected spiritually, man. You, we all connected spiritually. So when you're not touching something, but it's affecting your emotions, that's that's the spiritual world, you know what I'm saying? When you can't, when it's not touching you, but it's affecting your emotions. That's the spiritual world. So that should let you know. For those who don't believe, bro. Yeah. It ain't just. We didn't just all of a sudden the world created itself. And, and yeah, it ain't by chance. Like people. 
didn't create people because if people if you believe in scientists and people created people uh people created man why aren't man being created now why are your loved ones dying and the, your favorite scientist is not bringing them back if they can create people why they don't have it where you can buy if you got so many billions you can buy life again it's we're we're in a spiritual world i just i understand where a lot of you come from we're just in denial and we don't want to think that deep and we don't like to think that deep that's why we that, bro i'm telling you i kid you not i kid you not so anytime i feel bad vibes i just leave i get away from it man appreciate you for your support much love from india Exactly. Hey, who said that? Zionte. Zionte Smith. That was the really shit I done heard. God take everyone serious, he said, that takes him serious. That was the really shit I done heard, bro. God take everyone serious that take him serious. You you exactly right. And you got to think, the more you take him serious, the more beneficial your life will become. Because it's so much man can do that we don't even know we're capable of because the lack of faith we have that's been washed down by man because man want co more control over your life and he can't have control over a strong mind. So if your mind is strong, you can't be controlled. But if your mind is full of doubt, you're easy to be manipulated. Man, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Like. Make a video on how to put pressure correctly. Ask them on what program. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you to ask them, but he can't. He can't hear your ass. Act, okay, you want to make? You want to learn how to make the pressure correctly? What what program you want me to show you on? Name the program and I'll do it. Much love from the UK. That's what's up, man. Much love from America. Yeah, feel me. From T World. Yeah, that's what I need to say. Much love from T World, man. And this, you know what this what what my channel made me so proud of, bro? We're we're people from different walks of life. Like it's a lot of people that look like me on this channel. It's a lot of people that's just look like everybody around the world i can see if my channel was full of people just from one place now it just shows you how we all can get along man and respect each other all life is about is respect we can respect one another man that's it you know what i'm saying that's all we have to do that that's that's your that's all you have to do in life is respect the next person you don't have to agree with me you don't i don't have to agree with you but one thing i should always do is respect you as a person and if we all do that man we all can get along we all can coexist you know what i'm saying it don't matter what color you is it don't matter if you from the hood or if you from a good neighborhood it don't matter man and we all got respect for each other man we all can coexist you know what i'm saying imagine how many people would be alive today if somebody didn't feel disrespected or offended or if everybody respected each other? 
You know how many people would be alive today if everybody did that? You know how many, you know how many wars would have been prevented if we were just able to just respect, respect the next person for being different, not trying to make people be something they're not. Just, just respect people for being who they are and understand we we ain't meant to be the same. We're not meant to think the same. We're we're created to be different, man. God, if God wanted us all to be the same, we'll we'll look like the people from the Matrix. It won't it won't be no black people, white people, red, blue, per. It won't be none of that. Hello from Israel, man. Y'all from some. I wanna, you know, it's so crazy. I wish every time somebody tell me where they from, I can see pictures, like exactly where you from. Cause I, y'all name these places, and I be like, dang, I bet you that place look amazing. I just want to see new things, bro. Y'all be from all over the world. That 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 still amazed me. I think that's gonna forever amaze me that everybody was just from these places that's far away and we all just we all got even though we from different walks of life we all got something that we can relate with and we can't relate with everything we can relate with one thing that we all got a, a passion for art we all admire art we all like art we all appreciate art that's what we got in common and since we got that in common, we can make that our strong point to pull more people together and just show people like, man, we all can work together, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's to be honest with you, bro, when you coming from poverty stricken areas, it's easy to be evil, man. It's easy to do the wrong thing. It's easy to prove that you can be a better demon than the next person. It's easy to do evil, man. But just because it, it's easy, it don't mean it don't make it right. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to do the wrong thing. It's easy to crash out, but it's hard to be the bigger person. But the hardest things to do in life wind up being the best things you could ever do. You know what I'm saying? The hardest things you can do in life wind up being the best things you can do. Just like that follower just said, he got rid of his PlayStation. He got rid of his PlayStation 4 and got him a tablet. I know that was hard, man. Especially when you love games. I love video games. So I, I, I know how hard that was. But that was the best thing he could ever do. I'm telling you. So, and since... I know what we're going to do with this picture since we're going to put like, we're going to put like bullet holes inside the X, you know what I'm saying? Because like Malcolm X, basically they're trying to X him out. We're going to have bullet holes in there, bro. I gotta learn some shortcut keys on this as well. So I can save some time drawing. I appreciate y'all, man, for watching. Y'all, the reason this is like, it's a dream come true, man. So. Never think I'm just acting too bougie or something like I done got too Hollywood. I can never get too Hollywood for y'all. Y'all the reason I can d even do this. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate y'all. Like, I know a lot of folks hit me up and be like, man, I appreciate you for the video. Nah, I appreciate y'all, bro. Y'all make the videos. I create the videos, but y'all make the videos by watching them. There ain't nothing if you don't watch them. So, I appreciate all you guys, bro. From the bottom of my heart.
We turning up this summer though. I promise you. We're gonna have a million subs. Cause your boy gonna be grinding like crazy. And I ain't talking about just grinding and driving some bull crap, bro. I'm really gonna try to put out some good quality stuff. So trust me. I'm finna put in the work, but I'm gonna do it honest. I'm gonna be honest with it. I know y'all be seeing a lot of ads on my video, but bro, if I put the time in to make it, man, that's how that's how we make money on on YouTube. You know what I'm saying by the ads. So y'all forgive me. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to not put so many. If the video ain't that long, I ain't gonna put as many ads. But if it's long, I'm gonna you know what I'm saying try to make it count. But also, I'm gonna make sure I put a lot of work and effort into making these videos for you guys. So that's my promise to y'all, man. All my new subscribers, all my my long-term subscribers, I'm gonna be the best content creator I can be for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure I get better at this so you, all y'all. That's blessing me with your time to watch my videos. I'm gonna make sure that it count. I'm gonna make sure you watching something worth watching, and make sure it ain't too boring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna always get better at this. So just bear with your boy. I'm gonna be like all them, all them top YouTubers. We gonna get a, we gonna get us a gold YouTube award plaque when we hit our million. I'm gonna start doing the little events where we meet in Greece. I just go to y'all cities and jump, see what y'all love to do. Giveaways, we still got the giveaway coming. I'm gonna give away like a art tablet or something. We just gonna stay turned up, man. So we in it for the long haul. I stop posting when I'm when I'm dead. That's the only way. This hey, the video gonna start coming. That's the only way. Cause your boy, it's just in my nature, man. I I gotta be doing something. I gotta be doing something. I just like grinding. I only tell y'all things I would do. I never tell y'all something I won't do. I won't say I won't I won't say keep grinding if that's something I don't do. I only give the advice the advice I give y'all is the advice that's working for me. You know what I'm saying? So I only can tell you what works for me. So if you want to like, man, how you how you get all these followers? How you I just kept grinding. I'm like I'm doing now. Like I just grind, man. How you get better at drawing? I just, I just kept drawing. Consistency is key, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm gonna keep saying that till you get tired of me saying it, until it's just locked in your mind, and you forced it in your daily routine, and you, the, the somebody asking you, how did you get there? And you are gonna be able to tell them. Consistency is key. You know what I'm saying? You you want to lose weight? Consistency is key. Consistency is key. You want to gain weight? You want to play football, baseball? You want to get better at whatever? Consistency is key. And don't success don't come overnight. Cause if that's the case, I would have been successful. I feel like if success happened overnight, cause I'm not even successful. But one thing I got in my mind, I know, like, consistency. If I if I stay doing this, if I stay doing this, if I stay doing more, more, eventually I would be. And I won't even notice I'm successful. They're like, y'all gonna be telling me, Chief, bro, you know you uh two subscribers away from a million. I'm like, dang, I ain't even know. I was just so busy grinding. It snuck up on me. You can't focus... You can't focus on what you're chasing. You just got to focus on what's in front of you. You just got to be like, ah, I'm going to keep running. Because if you look at the distance of how far your dream is away, 
you gonna you gonna be intimidated. You gonna be like, dang, that's gonna go a little too far, and I'm getting tired. But if you ain't even looking at that, and you just running to be running, somebody gonna have to slow you down. And be like, hey, you already passed the finish line. You can stop running. And another thing too, don't don't worry about not being able to see results. Cause that used to bother me for the longest. I used to be like, man, I don't, I didn't did all this work, and I'm still ain't getting, I'm still ain't getting no views, or people still ain't noticing it. I'm like, man, nah, you ain't gonna see results for a long time. You shouldn't even worry about that. You should just worry about grinding, whatever you want to do. If you working out and you ain't seeing the muscles come in, and you like, shit. I've been lifting weights for goddamn three weeks, and I still ain't, still ain't got no bigger. Don't worry about that. It's gonna come if you stay consistent. So remember that. That's that's one thing I want y'all to take from me. If something ever happened, be consistent with whatever you love to do. If you love it, you can't say you love something and you ain't consistent. You know what I'm saying? Can't say you love something if you ain't consistent. If you love it, ain't nobody got to tell you that. You already, you, you will just want to be consistent. We almost finished. You know what this look like, y'all? This look like a comic book magazine. I mean, a comic book cover. A little bit. I might drop another video shading it. I don't know. I don't know. Or I might just save it and color it for my art show, man. Who know? This might be the only piece y'all get to see that y'all got sneak peek of ahead of time. But trust me, it's gonna be stuff way more way more detailed than this I'm just let my mind go crazy I'm gonna just try to draw the unthinkable and I'm gonna just draw a lot of pictures where I don't even think I just draw so it'll be confusing but it'll be interesting to look at and it'll be like relaxing like when you can look at some art and it relax you that's the type of art I want to make and people can stare at it and be like, dang, this junk just, it looks, it's satisfying just looking at it. Let's see. And we almost finished, though. Hey, I just got to draw that clip. Got to draw the banana clip. I know the, the banana clips got the little, got the ridges on the side. Shit. You know what? Bring this line back. Put this curve right there. We just drew that boy, Malcolm. Player, man, we're gonna add some more little curls to his little hair. Hey, if any one of y'all trying to get on Pug G, that's where you're gonna find Chi. 
you feel me? Cause I'm about to get on pole. I feel like I don't put enough of the grinds, of the grind in a day. I'm gonna play a couple games of Poet G, then I'm gonna still, I'm gonna drop another video tonight, man. But this, will, I don't count my lives as dropping videos, you know what I'm saying? I gotta put in more work if I'm really trying to reach my goal. been watching me for a while man tell it thank you sam man i appreciate you bro i appreciate you for the support man i appreciate y'all man y'all inspire me to get better at what i'm doing bro so if i reach this next level y'all need to give y'all self a round of applause because y'all the reason y'all the inspiration it's gonna be crazy thinking I should do it black and white, but then also, I think the color will bring it out. You know what? I'm gonna have paint coming from the banana clip. Like the picture gonna be black and white, but the color gonna be coming out of the banana clip. Like the paint, the color of the entire picture should be coming out of the banana clip. You know what I'm saying? Maybe pe people will grab this picture and just like I said, create their own meaning. This came out pretty dope, man. One thing I wish I can get back as an artist is just being patient. Because I can make better artwork than I put out. It's just that I ain't got the patience no more. I just want to. I be so quick on just wanting to see how it looks finished. But I don't even like. Back in high school when I used to draw. I used to have so much detail put in a picture because I take so long finishing it. I wasn't focusing or worrying about finishing a picture. I was just worried about detail. But now, I just like to put out as much as I can and like my ideas before they just get old to me. I'm like, man, I need to hurry up and draw this before I just forget about it and stop thinking. Let's see. Duplicate. I just want to see how it would look if I did add color. Sky. Background. Like, mm. Mm. Oh, that shit would be player. Player, 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 player. Let me see. It's just a test color. This ain't this ain't me really coloring it. It's just getting a a glimpse of how everything would look and color if added to the picture. Like 
Dame Melko. Oh, that shirt supposed to be white. Huh? Okay. The butt of the gun would bow, 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 bow. Swim Another thing too, y'all, I'm gonna make a coloring book one day. Why the draw? <laughs> I'm so tired of you, dog. Look, this joke gonna be crazy, though. Nah, I'm not. I just feel like just acting like I was coloring it. I said acting like I'm coloring it, but I'm really coloring it. But I'm not really coloring it because I'm not going to say it. Oh yeah, I am. I'm, that's when I really add the details and stuff. X is supposed to be red. When I think of X's, I think of like red dots. Somebody here. I'm trying to X you out. Gotta do like the back shadow or the X. Do these little two blue, 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 blue. Man, this joint gonna be crazy. Look at my comments. Am I on Adobe Illustrator? No, I'm on uh, Clip Studio Paint. Let me see. This is on real crazy. You can just put that together. I appreciate you, bro. You can put some crazy stuff together, too, man. You just got to... Use your ideas. Just whatever you think of, you gotta try to translate it and put it on paper. Cause baby, 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 baby. This came out pretty dope. Oh. 
something. We gotta make the gun. Like that. Do. Oh shit, I done made the, made the wing black. Really like what you done on me. I can't really explain it. And another thing, too, the reason Clip Studio Paint is winning, man, because it's so easy to color on this program, bro. You ain't got to do all them steps. You just get right to it, man. I ain't have to waste no time. On Adobe Illustrator, you gotta do like a thousand things. You gotta merge, you gotta got dang. Go to that layer, go to this layer. I wish, you know what I really want, man? I wanna get big enough where my opinion matter. Cause I can tell I can tell these companies what to do to make their art program like legit, bro. Like I can tell them what they need. I I know all their weaknesses or what'll make them stronger. I know what the people want because I talk to you guys. Like every problem you have, I would just use that and take it to them and be like yo y'all need to do this because people are having a lot of problems with this so just know when i get in the dough you get in the dough <laughs> we get in the dough you get a car you get a car <laughs> all right there you go let's see yeah this thing came out now I just I put basic colors down. I ain't even try to really color it. But I'ma really color it offline. Cause I I pretty much done took all y'all time today. I appreciate y'all for watching your boy man. Y'all some real ones. I'ma let you know now, man. Y'all finna see a lot of other things on the channel too, bro. Like on my, on my free time and when I just feel like I probably need to make another channel so I don't I don't mess up what we got going on on this channel you feel me my player 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 that look like a comic book uh cover y'all let me see that is the nails mm. that is the nails mm. sorry won't stop with your nails mm. Hold up. I got bro looking like he got a goddamn nail did. We ain't gonna do it like that though. Nah, bruh. Don't do bro like that. Yeah, this program winning, y'all, bro. I really like it, man. I just gotta learn the ins and outs. Once I learn all the ins and outs, bro, it might be hard to use any other program but this one, bro. Let me do a little shading.
That's why it's good to practice on shading too, cause shading can turn a good picture into a great picture if it's did right. And it just give it that shape. It give it like that 3D. See his face look flat because it ain't got no shadows and shades to tell you what shape is what. But when I add this shadow, watch watch how how much different the picture look. Gonna make a dramatic difference. Oh, we're gonna add the shadow right here. Nose. I'm not coloring this for real. I'm just, I'm just having a little fun. Shadow right here. After you done drew it for so long, you were kind of get a feel of where they supposed to go like without really relying so much off a of reference you'll just look at you'll be able to look at your picture and be like okay I think the shadow should be right here you'll, you'll start learning how to make it make sense the placements of the shadows Another thing too, I'm finna blend these colors. Let's see what we can put it look like. Oh yeah. It don't look rich. With it being bright like that, it look very old school. That's a nice look. So when I color it for real, I'm going to still keep this picture as a reference. I'm finna just go ahead and color this thing for real, man. What I'm talking about? Yeah, Fib. Five hours. <laughs> what you be hate? This look like the loading screen for GTA. Oh, hell yeah. That would be dope. Speaking of, I need to make a GTA tutorial, man. How to draw GTA style. Put G, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of videos coming, man. We got a lot of videos coming, man. All right, man. I know I didn't, I didn't budge y'all long enough, man. I'm finna end the line, man. I appreciate y'all, man. She wear a little good with it, y'all. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, fam. I appreciate y'all for staying tuned, bro. Y'all some real ones. Y'all think we should go live tomorrow or nah? I should wait a couple days or should we go live? You know what? We still gonna go live tomorrow. <laughs> we still gonna go live tomorrow, man. We finna turn up. I got some tutorials dropping later today. I, I'm gonna do a, a tutorial on how to cartoon yourself inside of Photoshop. I know it's been somebody asking for that in my comments, so I'm gonna make sure I do that. It's all love, bro. It's all love, Dexter. You feel me?
Yeah, we got we got Photoshop tutorial dropping today. Later on today, we're going live tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to see me do some free, some more freestyle work tomorrow? Even if you don't want to see it, that's what we do. <laughs> we we freestyling tomorrow, man, with the art. We just gonna keep it coming, man. And we also while we freestyling we gonna keep our conversations going man we're gonna keep this real talk going because i like talking with y'all how to get better shading on adobe draw that, that'll be a good video i appreciate you what's your name hey jerry <laughs> what's, it, what's the boy that i don't know how to say it edgery shot with shot edgery shot with my bad hey if i mess up your name bro i ain't trying to be funny it's just that I'm not good with names. But yeah, that's a good idea, bro, for a video. A tutorial on Clip Studio. I do that as well. But why gamer? Bet. We'll do that as well, bro. And the thing about it, I'm so glad y'all telling me what y'all want me to make videos of, cause y'all giving me more content for you guys. From the people to the people by the people. <laughs> I'm so tired of you, bro. <laughs> but shoot, hey man, it ain't nothing but love. I love all you guys, man. Y'all the reason I get to do this for a living, so I ain't got no choice. I ain't got no excuses but to get better at this. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all you guys, man. Thank y'all for watching your boy. I will be on tomorrow if you missed today. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel bad if you just came in late. To all my new subscribers, man, welcome to the family. To everybody who wanted to donate, hey, man, it ain't nothing but love, bro. I appreciate you, bro. That mean a lot to me just by you wanting to do that. That's your hard-earned money that you want to give to me. That's amazing, man. I appreciate y'all. More heat coming soon. And let me get close to the... uh. Cause I hate when I say I'm out this thing, but I ain't hit in, so I look crazy. More heat coming soon, man. It ain't nothing but love to all my supporters. Y'all make sure y'all stay grinding. And we out this thing.